Hello everyone, this is Jay and Chen. Our project is wafer map failure pattern classification using deep learning. We choose this topic mainly because both both team members are from a wafer inspection company. Wafer inspection is very important for improving the yield in a semiconductor fab. Based on the wafer failure pattern, it is possible to figure out the wood process cause. The data we used is the open source data on Kaggle. There are a total of two 25,000 wafer data with eight different classes. One issue for this data set is that the dimension of the wafer map image are not the same, which prevent deep learning to be used. Therefore, we resized all the wafer map to the same dimension. We calculated the weighted average dimension as 42 by 42 pixel. The other issue for this data set is that its distribution is highly imbalanced. So we applied image flipping and rotation for data augmentation. As for the training and the testing data splitting, two different approach was used. Approach one is first augmentation and then splitting. Approach two is first splitting and then apply the data augmentation only on the training set. Compared to approach one, approach two excluded the augmented data from testing. This may produce more accurate evaluation for the model. Two different network was explored. First one is simplified AlexNet, the second one is simplified VGG16. The simplification does not mean to reduce the number of layers, but reducing the number of filters on each layer. Because our images are much smaller and much simpler, in addition, our goal is to classify only eight defect patterns, while AlexNet and VGG are targeting much more than eight. Then let's take a look at the result. In the AlexNet, Approach 1 and Approach 2 produce very similar performance. Without any regularization, there is a high training accuracy but relative low testing accuracy. With the help of L2 regularization and dropout, the variance gets reduced at the cost of higher BIOS. Such trend demonstrate the ability of L2 regularization and dropout on overfitting reduction. In the case of VGG16, for approach 1, without dropout, the network show almost perfect accuracy for the training set and 92% accuracy on the testing set. This proves that a deep network can reduce the BIOS. However, in the case of VGG16, approach 2 does not converge to a global minimal. To see how the model performed on each specific class, confusion matrix is generated. We also perform the hyperparameter tuning on the learning weight, L2 regularization coefficients, and the dropout weight. It, it's turned out that lambda is the most sensitive parameter to our model. To summarize, in this work, we implement a simplified AlexNet and VG16 network for wafer pattern classification and both network beat the machine learning benchmark on Kaggle. Finally, thank, thanks for your attention. Please email us for any questions.